Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can turn an object into um, box patterns. What does that mean? So let's stop, drop down a primitive, let's see, a primitive platonic solid this is what i want and on our platonic solid let's see if we can see something like this would be quite nice so now i want the surface to be filled with like boxes how do we do that so if you drop down a divide and let's see we're gonna drop down this divide and this divide we're gonna get rid of convex, but we want bricker polygons. And let's increase the number of bricker poly polygons that we get. So what this is doing is basically, um, you know, creating like an interesting pattern. Look at that, you could even do patterns like this. So what we wanna do is like, break the geometry so that we can get interesting looking patterns and if you change the angle you can get some really really crazy stuff so look at that now what what can we do with this how do we turn this into like like geometry or like quadrangulated or like whatever like what you want is first to have like an interesting shape of geometry on the on the solid and then we're gonna do a poly extrude but then the trick is you want to set this to individual so once we connect this here you want to do an insert inset and this inset needs to be a very very low value You can see it's hard to see it like this but what we want to do is select this output group of extrude the sides and we're gonna drop down a delete and we're gonna delete the extruded sides and if you tell it delete non select it you will see that it basically creates like a little inset around the whole thing right and then we do another extrude here And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it we're gonna do the same thing let me take a step back right here Okay, the thing is like right now I have it set to such a low value that it's kind of hard to see it, but we can play with it using that exploded view. Let's see. Alrighty, so you can see how we have been able to like separate the ed like the actual edges based on whatever pattern we create to the surface of the geometry. 
all right so we have the the broken geometry here we are able to control the um, inset right there which basically allows us to control how how big the shapes were breaking apart and we can come here onto the divide and play of course with this angle and then obviously we're gonna get different patterns so let's have a look I'll revert to default so this will allow us to isolate like this pattern as well and if we come here to the exploded view and just reduce the scale here we can bring it back to like something pretty controllable where it's close but not super close and then we can use this extrude And I would say without an inset, just extrude it outwards like this and output the back. So now our geometry is built off this shapes, right? And there's a lot of really interesting things that you can do with stuff like this. Now I'm gonna just take it back to like this angle because I really like this pattern. And let's go back into the extrude and we need to control the inset a little bit so that we get something that works. And look at that. So you can get some very interesting looking shapes with doing things like this. And um, and yeah, you can you can drop you can run this through any kind of rigid body sim, and or like play with some of them extruding more than others. Um, so this is a really interesting way for you to grab the geometry, modify the source, and make shapes to create the geometry that you want. All right, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Fully procedural of course, and um, I'll be back with more.